Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are continuing on Tabby's journey through Baldur's Gate 3. In my last episode, we finally made it to the Cursed Lands. We might finally be waving goodbye to Act 1 and moving our way into Act 2. We are on our way to Moonrise Towers. And yeah, we are going to stop by an inn to meet some Harpers who we just... I would say help, we all fought together though. We're gonna stop in at them, maybe have a cup of tea, see how they're doing and find out what the hell is going on in this place. So, as always, I will not delay any further, let us jump straight into it. So thankfully in the last episode we got to have a long rest, so we are feeling a bit better. You sense a young woman gazing at Moonrise Towers in awe. Perhaps one day she will get to gaze out from atop it, she hopes. Yeah, I forgot we were in looking at all these poor shadow creatures, would you call them? Oh yes, sure forgot we lost that harper. Yeah, clearly each of these shadow people here, it's a person, you know, it's a soul, I suppose would possibly be the best way for us to describe it. Each one of them is the soul of somebody who I'm also guessing was on their way to that Moonrise Towers. That's what I'm getting. Anyway, can we... Oh, we can only use it. I was going to say, can we pick them up and bring them with us? Now, there are torches. She did say to us to carry a torch. Now, I don't know if that was... Just for like dark vision. Oh, let's put a light source. We'll just. Uh, is it already there? Oh, yeah, we already have a light source. So I don't know. I suppose I've never really used a light source before. Oh, is it just that the mace is a light source? Okay. Oh, no. I'm, I'm just getting confused. Oh, look, we'll keep going down for the moment anyway. I'm sure I'll find out quick enough if I'm meant to be carrying torches as well. I do have... Oh, I thought I had produced flame. That is a cantrip you can get. No. Oh, yeah. We'll start trying to find how to get in there. I think we're going to have to keep running down this way. Um, yeah, sorry, Produce Flame is a cantrip you can get and basically it just acts like a torch. Now, I possibly should know what is going on with Shadowheart and the fact that she keeps like lighting up like that. A charming little egg. Let's see. Oh, can't reach there. I, I was... That dead bird's been corrupted by the shadows. Oh. Would be wise to leave it alone. What dead bird? Where is this? Do we take its eggs then? I'm sure the eggs have been contaminated as well if I had to guess. Maybe we'll get like weird like... Eggs. <laughs> weird birds. Um. Okay. Yeah, we got them anyway. We'll see if they hatch. Locked. Astarion, my dear. Lock, pick that for me, please. We're at 10 difficulty class, not the worst we've seen. And he can guidance himself. He would easily make that, thankfully. I couldn't even see that dead bird that she was on about, but clearly it was, I'm going to assume, the mother of these eggs. Let's see, can I see it as that? Oh, that's it. Right, yeah, we probably will not touch that. <laughs> Considering everything that is going on here. Oh, here we go. So now we're getting down to where we can go to the inn. We'll read the signpost. This place is protected. For a Must be the refuge the harpers spoke of. Look no further. Welcome to the Last Light Inn. Oh. 
Can we get ahead. through? No okay. shadows here. Something must be keeping it at bay. Oh yeah, some magic. I'm gonna F5 that just before we go in in case things take a turn and they don't like us anymore. You there! Step forward and keep your hands off your weapons. Easy! She's with me. Come. Jahira! That's a bit much. Oh yeah, let's go druid. If we always have the druid, we will go with it. Through the grapevine? What is going on here? Easy, give me a chance. Scared to explain. Has trapped one of her own in vines. Oh yeah, let's go with that. Absolutely. This is why we're here, you see. It is a curious creature that hides all manner of secrets. But if there's one thing that we know... It's that it knows its own kind. You should never have come here, true soul. I'm not a true soul, a druid. Oh, force, force your own magic. I am not a true. I'm not a true soul. Yeah, which is true. Stop! What are you doing? She's the one who saved us. She's the one who protected the Emerald Grove. Yep. Didn't leave a goblin standing. Not so bad to hang around with either. Save two of my friends. One from a harpy and one from a mad druid with a snake. Didn't make a fuss of our thieving either. I'd pretty much trust her with my life. A true soul with a mind of her own? How is that possible? Mull, you absolute little legend. <laughs> Fair play to her. So that worked out a bit in our favour, uh, helping them. And good to see that they made it to somewhere safe anyway, for refuge. Uh, you just, I work in... I do, I don't know if I want to be showing everyone the artifact and having to fight them. But would Tavi be innocent enough to be like... But then we're shown to everyone at this stage. I, I kind of want to gain her trust. So let's go with this. What in the hell is that thing? Yeah, we don't know. Uh, everything you know, um, your guess is... Tell, I'll tell her everything. We want to gain her trust. Congratulations. You've earned yourself the benefit of the doubt. Hear me, Harpers. All clear. At ease. I'll not pretend to understand what that artifact is. But I'm old and wise enough to recognize a sliver of hope when it crawls out of the dark. Tell me... Why have you come here? We're going to destroy Moonrise Towers! Uh, yeah, to destroy the Absolute. I look... I know that that is the Druid option, but this is what we are doing. Then you found an ally in me. For that is precisely why I am here. There's food in the inn over there. Beds too, if you require rest. Aloe oil in the cupboard, in case the vines gave you a rash. Settle in. 
Then come join me for a drink. You may just be the godsend we've been praying for. Oh, there we go! Might be here, right? Oh, yes! Let's talk to Karlik about that. Oh my god, soldier. That's Jahira. The Jahira. <laughs> she lives in the city, right? Yeah. Don't you know the whole story? Years ago, over a century, Jahira was part of a group that saved Baldur's Gate from Saravok, a ball sport trying to plunge the city into war. My mum used to tell us stories about them. The legends who protected the city from evil. She said Jahira was a powerful druid. Adamant. Tough. I've told myself those stories a thousand times since. I never thought I'd meet Jahira. She's a hero and I was always... some outer city kid. Can't believe she wants to talk to us about working together. What a day! Carla, I just, I, every time I talk to that girl, I just fall in love with her a little bit more. She's such a sweetheart, really, underneath. Good to see a friendly face. Yeah, you too. Let's let's have a chat. Let's go to the barricade. <laughs> now we'll have a we chat with everyone. Or steal. Jahira seems sure of you. I hope she's right. This barricade might keep the shadows out, but it won't help against what's already inside. Lovely. Thank you for your support. Nice to meet you as well. Friendly as ever. And we have another one. Hello. If Jahira trusts you, I trust you. But I'll be damned if a bug brain doesn't creep me out. Uh, look, I creep myself out as well if it counts. Who's that? Uh, the oh. Yeah, we haven't talked to this one. Go around to the mall. Never thought I'd see the day Jahira shows mercy to a true soul. Or whatever it is you are. None of them seem in any way like polite or like, I, I hope I don't offend her. <laughs> Saving good or bad sign? Let's find out. Can't chat. I need to reinforce the barricade. Okay. <laughs> uh, see if we find anyone else from the grove here, actually. Hey! That's close enough. Artifact or no, I don't like the likes of you crashing our party. Give it a rest, Alfred. We need all the gods damned help we can get. Yeah, and what party am I crashing? Rescue party. Not that you'll give a triple shat damn, but we were ambushed by them bloody cultists. Bastards torched the pigsty we were staying in and made off with the Grand Duke of Baldur's Gate himself. Oh, these are the flaming fists. Look, flaming fists. Um, rescue party sounds like right up my alley. I don't suppose made it all the way here. I was, yeah. Sure did. For all the good that does us. She's inside. One of the ground floor chambers. Guess you need to be a god's damned counsellor to get room and board around here. Oh, well, there you are. So, so you optimistic, so friendly. Dead man walking. Uh, did we talk to this Cali one already? I feel she may be now with us. Pre as you are, this is no time for a natter. Head on into last light. And thank you for the compliment, though. You're the nicest one here. Let's head inside. There's food and warmth to spare. Thanking you, good sir. Just want to have a quick look around. Oh my god. Strange ox! Oh my god! Oh dear, is the other lad! Alright, we're talking to the strange ox first. I will figure out your secrets. No, still incapable. Oh my god. <laughs> I remember you from the Druid's Grove. Not for you to know. Perception. You are hungry. I saved you all and now you have food. No. Perception. You are the ox. You are, it wasn't the hungry one. I thought you'd be more disconcerting. Persuade. Let's try the persuasion. Who knows? It might work out. <laughs> Do I think it will? Not in the slightest. Let's see. Reveal your secrets, Ox. Well, come close. Your mind to mine. 
Oh, sweet Jesus. Are you satisfied? Oh my God. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what, what, what the hell is that? My little secret. Oh my God. He's like an evil. <laughs> what is he? I trained you your secrets for one of mine. Oh my God. Oh, go on. I'm not a busybody. You ought to use me as an example or you might get yourself in trouble. Is that a threat? Whatever you are, you're coming out of... Oh, I'm gonna go, is that a threat? That's up to you. Oh, whatever you're coming... Oh, do we go? All I wanted was a bit of hay, a good brushing and a clean stall. The simple life. Is that so much to ask? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 what? oh what 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 is that oh my goodness what <laughs> i'm so confused what is going on oh my god it's just like a ball of jelly <laughs> Oh, amazing. Okay. It definitely told me it's secrets anyway. Oh. Oh no, a starry is kind of covered in acid -y stuff. You'll get relief him for now. This is so bizarre. <laughs> I'm sorry, my mind is completely blown. I, I feel like in the past couple of episodes... Oh no, I shouldn't have raged her yet. No, that was silly of me. Silly, because she won't be able to reach. I might be able to... Maybe the arrow counts as an attack. Oh. Oh, that was a miss. Let's try again, though. Eh, it's something. He was already at half health for some reason, so I think we'll just... Yeah, fling a load of uh, <laughs> spells at it and hope for the best. Oh, this is so bizarre. Oh, Tabby. Tabby needs day roll 17. Oh, let's do it. Here we go. I don't think I'll ever look at an ox quite the same. <laughs> oh, just when I think I've seen it all, at least it's dead now. It, oh, shame shift ring. Maybe I shouldn't have, like, just destroyed it now, but... I uh, should have maybe just left it and come back. Strange fellow, that one. You sure made a mess of him. <gasps> <laughs> Don't worry, you're safe. <laughs> you were making quite a ruckus over there. Hope everything's all right. Oh, well, I mean, uh, I have no clue that, what that was. Maybe I shouldn't have just attack it now. Oh, look, it's done. What can we do? Aha! Uh -huh. Thought I sensed an infernal. What are you doing here? Same thing as you, I reckon. Trying to stay out of the shadows. Hold on! I know you! The weaponsmith, right? Drafted into the blood war when your city was swallowed by Avernus. Not too different from my own story. Well done making it out alive. Same to you. Though unless my senses deceive me, you brought a bit of the hells back with you. Infernal engine? Who needs a heart when you've got one of these to keep you warm? Thank you, Zariel. Forget warm. You're burning up. Might be burning out a piston ring. Or leaking oil. Mind if I take a listen? Please do. I've been dying to find an infernal mechanic. Now that's hot. Too hot. I think I could sort you out. But I'll need some infernal iron and a lot of luck. Hey, soldier. We've got some infernal iron already. Let's give it to him, eh? 
I mean, I think absolutely we'll go straight in and see what we can do to help herself, whatever the cost. Please let this work. Mm. The weight of it and that blaze of chaos. Can't imagine this where my heart should be. Must be quite the experience. Give me just a moment. And I think... There. You'll have to install it, I'm afraid. I don't think there are thick enough gloves in all the realms to protect from that kind of heat. That feels... Good. I'm still burning hot as hell's hole, but I feel less... Changeable. Cheers, mate. Pleasure. And as for the heat, I haven't got any solutions now, but I'm not giving up. Could be if the combustion chamber had its own insulation, or if we had some kind of enchanted coolant. Let me sleep on it. I just might be able to work something out. Hopefully the next time I see you, I'll have something promising to report. I'll need more infernal iron either way, though. So keep your eyes open. Take care. Oh, I'm delighted for her now. That was a great little outcome after dealing with melted cow over there. Damon's upgrade didn't cool me down, but it did juice me up. I don't think I've ever felt more powerful. That is, uh, girl, that's exactly what we want to hear. Let's find some evil for you to smack then. Yeah, we'll find that and get you a second upgrade too. Sooner rather than later would be good. I feel like I'm burning serious fuel. Uh, will you be alright? Let's see. Yeah, sounds... I'll keep my... Yeah, will you be alright? Oh, fuck yes. I'm ready to burn all night. Speaking of, I could eat a giant badger. Is it almost time for dinner? <laughs> oh, Carlac, a girl after my own heart. <laughs> there is a melted cow in the corner if you want it. Well, I mean, oh, I'm still not over that weird demon cow. Oh, traps out there. Okay, that is one thing, I suppose. Um, like we can still come around and look around everywhere, or will I just do it now? You know what? Let's just do it now because I'm over. <laughs> already after finding this extra thing which I wasn't expecting. Let's see what else is around. Doesn't seem to be anyone down this way, but this does definitely look like an area that something is going to happen. You know, something's going to happen here at some stage. What it is, who knows, but you can just tell when an area is set aside for something to happen. Oh! Right. Um, do we will we run down here and have a chat with whoever this is? What's that? Oh, let's have a dig. Let's see. See if we find any goodies. Oh yeah, look, there's another one over there. That's who I was actually initially going for to try talk to. Just hold on there for a second, my friend. We want to talk to you. Hello. You look well equipped. Good. You wouldn't believe the state of some of these lads. Oh, don't worry. We're well equipped, somewhat. <laughs> we're able to hold our own, though. I think we're doing all right that way. So is this like... Oh, it actually is going out. I don't know if it's like if there was a waterfall the entire way down. I suppose so. That wouldn't have made much sense to have built this dock here. <laughs> there was like just a waterfall straight away. Hmm. That's dodge looking as well. Absolutely. We'll eventually go down there. I don't want to piss them off just yet. Pardon, but I've no mind for small talk. <laughs> okay, very. I mean, straight to it. Nice to see the dark spitting out more than shadows. <laughs> Welcome. 
Thank you. Some of them, you just, it's a mixed bag, really, isn't it? Some are really friendly and then some just aren't. Shadows, their king. Light to inside. Look. Okay, that was bizarre. Okay. <laughs> Very weird. Take a stroll, have a drink. Enjoy them while you can. Okay, yes, optimistic. In we go, so and we'll see what is going on. We'll read the sign. The last light in does not permit the bearing of arms. For the safety of all patrons, please leave your weapons at the door. That does not sound good either. No, okay, it's not making us take them off, which I thought it would. Oh, Under there's that barred one. We need to talk. Please. Be welcome. Have a drink. Oh my God! To your very good health. Poor garlic. Uh oh, Drew and Ben didn't smell the wine yet. <laughs> or just going to be um, extra careful. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. You perceive a faint hint of cloth grass, a herb that is said to elicit the truth. Jahira smiles at you knowingly. It doesn't spoil the taste, if that's what you're wondering. <laughs> yeah, get cloud to grass. I suppose I should be grateful you didn't choose Vanian's brush. A paralyzing agent? I do not think we're quite so far gone yet. I don't think I trust this one. I mean, I haven't lied yet. And I have nothing to hide. Bottoms up. Well over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. As an air about you, something alien. Answer me true and do not lie. The parasite is changing you, isn't it? I mean, we're telling the truth. It is safe and true despite knowing you're under the effects. Try to deny. Um, I see now why you spiked my wine. It is still a river. I'm still me. But the river can flood and break its banks. If the parasite changes you, tries to break you, could you resist? Yes, I think so. Not with an absolute certainty. <laughs> Try, could you... I mean... Yeah, we'll see is the truth. Look around you. Good men, good women. Stranded here, two feet in the grave. If we're to survive, I have no choice but to trust you. Can I? You can trust me. Yeah, I'm interested. Yeah, no, but it is true, you can. Uh, Tavi is very trustworthy, I think. She drank that knowing that she'd have to tell the truth. Because we've nothing to hide. Good. Because I'll cross your heart myself if you break it. I have every reason to be cautious. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly. And with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. No, oh, who was that? Yeah, who was is he? General Gadric Thorm. Oh my god. Remember that name. He's the leader of the absolutists. He was a Sharan once. Took to building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. Not only does General Ketherick Thorn live again, it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. 
We met him on the road here. Commanding an army of the Absolute, intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself. Only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless. But experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. You are that hope. My god. Oh, look, Shadow Heart will be delighted with that. I forgot she was here. <laughs> what do you have in mind? Protected by your artifact, you can infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers, posing as a true soul. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. Once Gatherick is without his shield, the sword, together we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. Oh, yeah, I'm happy to do that. Druids and Harpers reuniting to fight Gatherick once more. It is fitting. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate your enthusiasm. Just be sure it doesn't make you leap before you look. Infiltrate the towers, and Catherick's downfall begins. What's more, you'll find the cure for that thing in your head. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Catherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at moonrise. Until then, we keep drinking wine when we meet. <laughs> for me to tell you more <laughs> more of the secrets you want to know yeah how do i reach him you're not our only secret weapon isabel a faithful cleric of seluna and a light in the darkness she cast the moon shield around the inn it's the only reason we're still alive she's upstairs in her chambers tell her i sent you and she'll see you through the shadows safely Oh, yeah, I don't know how happy Shadowheart's going to be with that one. Let's have a chat with her and see if she have anything to Not say. Not the cheeriest of inns, this place. But I suppose the mortal peril lurking just past the firelight is liable to put a dampener on the mood. That's true. Oh, remember when you told me Night Orc? Oh, sure, yes. Oh, we'll go with it. That might be too flirty. <laughs> the poor thing, seeing as I turned her down. Oh, but do I give it to her? Oh, oh no, that no, no. That's Gedrick Tom. What do you think of him? Difficult to say. A fellow servant of the Night Singer would surely be an ally to me under most circumstances. But something doesn't add up. I'll need to see where his allegiances truly lie. Uh, I gotta do it. Ah! Rings a bell. Why? <laughs> Here's one. Oh hell's. You didn't pick that by hand, did you? They're deadly poisonous. Joking. They're safe. And beautiful. Thank you. I don't have anything to give you in return, I'm afraid. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I don't expect that eating. That was actually kind of funny on Shadowheart. That is like the first bit of humor I've kind of seen from her. And I really liked it. We want to see more of that shadow house. Well, perhaps I can come up with something later. All the same. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Bye. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. I did think we were maybe crossing the flirty lines, alright, but at the same time... Tabby is so innocent. I think if someone did tell her they like something, she'd be like, Oh my god, look what I found. Thought you'd be ten yards tall the way Zevlor spoke of you. Ceres, Scout, seems we missed one another at the Grove, but the others told me how you helped us. A pity. You pulled them from one death trap, only for me to land them in this one. Oh, we'll help them again. Where is- don't tell me he's dead. Gone. And more than half the others with him. We were ambushed, out in the cursed lands. Cultists of this absolute. Zevlor froze, begged us to surrender. But they were toying with us, making examples, and we'd had enough of taking it. Those of us who cut free just kept running till we found this place. The others, 
Maybe the cult got them. Maybe the curse. It's fine. I'll free them as well. Hey, what are you gonna? You're what you know, have hope. You survived. I'm sure they did too. Zevlor had hope. It didn't save him. A little sense will serve us better, I think. But thanks. It was sweet of you to try. I know. I know. Hello, our bird friend. Oh, you're all right. Thank goodness. I was worried they'd got you too. Oh, don't worry. I'm fine. Uh, how about you? How are you holding up? Honestly, terribly. I still can't believe it. The cultists. The screams. I had to watch my friends, people who can barely hold a sword, try to fight a pack of murderous zealots. All I could do was run. Running, that's the right you cared. What did the cultists do with the others? I don't know. It just happened so quickly. How do you do it? How do you keep going? Oh, I'm a simpleton. <laughs> that's it. I don't think about things too much, girl. Simpleton, simple, just go with it. <laughs> don't, don't worry about things too much. Um, no, I, I think we'll go with the druid answer. <laughs> me as well. You're made of sterner stuff than me, then. You've done so much for us already. But I have to ask. The others might still be out there. If they're not dead, they're in Moonrise. And gods have mercy on anyone in that hell's pit. Of course, I'll find them. Don't worry. Thank you. If anyone can manage it, you can. Just be careful up there. All right? I can't handle anyone else dying. It's fine. You can just write another song about me. It will be grand. Now, there's a few people in here else I think we can talk to. Good to see you're still breathing. It's the best we can hope for. Indeed. What's over here? Let's have a look at this blackboard. The colors are faded, but the words are not. An ale between friends is worth ten cups of tea. Oh. <laughs> don't this tea like that. Hey, you don't know the wonders of tea. I do like that they didn't actually write it in like a specific language. It makes things really handy, I suppose, for doing this game in all different languages, that there's no set language that they're using. Oh, absolutely. Let's have a read. How much longer much I languish here? I'd hoped to be in Baldur's Gate a 10 day ago, but that blasted toil housekeeper wouldn't accept my papers. When Farder hears about this, he'll be furious. There's something odd about this village. People skulk around like there's something to hide. The shrines to Moon Maiden seem ill-tended and barren. I'd hope to learn more about Ketrick Tom, the village leader, but talk of him seems to put others on edge. I'm not sure I can bear another hour in this lonesome place. Now, am I going mad or did, when I was reading that, did you see like someone run in here, take something and go? <laughs> I'll figure it out when I'm editing. Uh, I'm wondering, did I get robbed <laughs> without realizing it? I do like the pictures in here, though, I must say. We'll run out here for a look. Yeah, when I'm editing it, I'll be watching it. And if anyone came in, I'll be like, oh my god, how did I miss that? I probably took the artifact. And, oh, oh, is that her? Oh, it's, oh, what? What? This is madness. All right. Uh, let's talk to Maul first, I think. Your move, Maul. You trapped me. I didn't even want to take this one. Kalim Shan rules, dear. The first piece touched is the first piece moved. That's garbage. No matter where the night goes, I'm gonna lose it! Then make the sacrifice useful. Guard your Mistra, or come for my Cyric. What's going on here? Look who made it! For once, I saved your butt out there, didn't I? Where's Square now, Chief? 
Say, do you play lance ball by any chance? It's my first time playing. The keen gleam in Mal's eyes reveals the lie. She knows the game well, and she wants to win. Uh, the my sleight of hand would not work. Uh, I fall back. Oh, I wouldn't know that. You shouldn't be playing games. He's a devil. Oh, her sleight of hand is plus two. And I don't like the devil anyway, so let's see what happens. Even though my rolls have been terrible. Oh, yes. Very good. We want Maul on side, you see. Brava! Lovely work. I see I was right to make you the offer I did. You will consider it, won't you? Don't do it, Mal. Don't, he's a devil. What a lovely specimen she is. A blushing apple begging to be plucked. Please let me smack this creep. She cheated, of course, but that's half her charm. <laughs> and what's the other half? Yeah. My favorite kind, ambition. But don't you worry about Moll. It goes without saying she still has the unconditional freedom to choose the only option she has left. Now... Let's talk about you. I sense there's something you want to ask me. I do. I have a... proposal for you. A proposal? <laughs> if you're hoping to taste my blood, little vampling, think again. It burns hotter than wyvern whiskey. This is serious business. Devil. My old... well... A long time ago, someone carved some runes into my back. I'd rather like to know what they say. Hmm... Oh my god. Oh, what are you told? Oh, yeah, go with that. You haven't told them? And you've kept your clothes on this whole time. How unlike you. Why not let them see? Don't be shy. God damn it. Don't worry. I'm motivated to help you. Scars often tell such wonderful stories. I think yours might be truly exquisite. I'll see you soon. Well, now you know. Poor Starion. Uh, you, I could have helped. And that was, did you see that? <laughs> that kind of glitched a bit. I, hmm. perhaps I should have. I'm not exactly used to asking for help and being met with, well, <sighs> help. But what's done is done, so how about we stop talking about it and just get on with things? Although I should probably get dressed first. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> oh, well, look, at least I'm staring like the charlatan thing is shoveling the board. Is he dressed again? Again. Oh yeah, <laughs> he is. <laughs> like, do you think he got laser done, or was that waxed? Or are just like vampires, just hairless in general? <laughs> it's like smooth, like a washboard. <laughs> Let's see that. Or smooth, like is it a surfboard? Ah, you. <laughs> yeah, hello again, my friend. How are things? How are things? Well. I've been through worse. 
I'll soon be off to Moonrise Towers to look for my friend, Walbrin. I, I understand you might be headed in that direction as well. Yes, of course. Walbrin? An old friend. The kind one doesn't simply leave to his own reckless fate. Even when it leads to the heart of a murderous cult. If he's there, I plan to find him. Good man yourself. Well, I'm going there too. You wouldn't even know what he looks like. Then again, my track record is, well, discouraging. Does he look like you? Uh, then essentially you stay here and I'll search. That's very decent of you. Very decent of you indeed. But I won't stand idle. I've spotted an alchemist's scales and had already been cooking up a little something that might help against those cultists. I'll get to work on the brilliant retort. You get to work at the towers. Deal? Deal. What the brilliant retort? A new type of smoke powder. All the bang and boom of the original, but with an extra surprise. Guaranteed to end any and all arguments or protestations. Uh, yeah, deal. Why not? Very good. Very good. Very good indeed. Now, you, off to your uh, heroism, uh, as it were. Some of us are counting on you. Every time. He might eventually be happy one day that we actually go in there. Now, hello. This, uh, they're never as friendly, but let's find out. Hiss. I say hiss. <laughs> uh, easy. Even though, you know, cats like, they'd probably... <laughs> He'd probably respect that more. Easy, giddy. I mean you no harm. And yet you harm me by your very presence. This is my territory, and you're in it. Yeah, it seems very like what a cat would say. Uh, I see. Bark. I my intentions are pure. I want to admire you up close. Mm, I'll allow it. <laughs> I thought he liked that. Uh, you're quite the specimen you are. I slinked, of course. Quite, you seem like someone who knows what's about. Heard anything interesting? Good of you to notice. For my part, I have noticed the cleric is a liar. She promised me a bit of milk. Do you see any milk, do you? Nor do I. Disgraceful. I was a witch cleric. I quietly admired a cat. You've had enough. Now go. Quickly. Yes. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, when he says the cleric, I was thinking it was maybe Shadowheart. I was like, oh my god. Hey, if we oh we should go talk to Maul. Don't you dare join the devil Maul. Nice strategy back there. If we put our heads together, I bet you and me can make a tidy stack of coin in Baldur's Gate. But Raphael's offered me a partnership already and it Seems like a sweeter deal than throwing my lot in with you. No, kid. No. Uh, yeah, we'll try persuasion. Yeah. I thought it was going to be quite high for her. I have my guidance anyway. Oh, we can actually add that to the guidance as well. Very good. Let's try and hope for the best. Okay. Yeah, well, hopefully this should go well. You... you aren't joking. Oh, I kind of believe him more now than I did a minute ago. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, well, you need to stay away. He, his deals are poison. What exactly did he offer you? Protection for me and my kids, that's all. Her smile is broad, her eyes twinkling. Her face, the very picture of innocence. She's clearly lying. But I haven't accepted nothing yet. Sounds like you're in deeper than I am. Uh, yeah, what did he read? Yep, let's try it again. Ah, uh, here. Let's look. It'll have to be nearly a nat 20. Oh my god! <laughs> yes! <laughs> what I said! That he'd get me and my gang safely to Boulder's Gate! 
And also, when we get there, I'd be head of the Thieves' Guild. No, ambitious, I like it. Uh, trust me, it sounds good, but it's not worth it. And what happens to the current head? I don't know, devil stuff? What matters is, I can keep my kids safe. Everyone else has let them down. But I won't. Look, you saved us. Not knocking that. But after you left, Zevlor lost his nerve. Gave up the fight. I won't. Now there's no grove, no coin, no one taking us to the city. I'm not letting my crew get eaten by shadows. Maybe I'll make a deal, maybe I won't. But it'll be my choice, not the devil's, and not yours. I'll give her that. Now, I wasted some of my very good rolls on her trying to convince her, but we tried. We tried talking to her. What else can we do? One of the worst things about getting old. Watching kids make the same exact mistakes you made. And knowing there's absolutely nothing you can say to change their mind. Then again, Mole's a hell of a lot smarter than I was at that age. Maybe she'll figure it out. I hope so. Yeah, that's all we can say. True enough. She'll go far in the city. We've just got to get her there safely. Yeah, we'll try, all right. Oh, actually, you should talk to Starion, really, after what just happened. God, I never thought I'd be so relieved to find a light in the darkness. Or to see so many harpers clanking about. Yeah, no, <laughs> he doesn't have much to say. Okay, up the stairs we go. No, I mean... I don't know, I feel like that cat was onto something with saying the cleric was lying, but I'm like, which cleric? More activity among the cultists now. Preparing to march, I wager. Seems that way. Oh, I had her talking to each other. Now, I did think she said for me to come upstairs that, oh, maybe it's over here. Um, the one with the moon kind of protection spell around the place, I think, is up here. She must be in here and also isn't the one who was looking for Will's dad meant to be around. Oh. No, just read. Ever since I returned, there has been a fill to me. I feel it in my lungs. I cannot get it out. It will never out. It will never out. Yeah, this death that reeks within me. There are some other things even the Moon Maiden cannot heal. There are some things she would never accept in her devoted. I shall never come back. Okay. So clearly the one with the spell around here has obviously something going on with her which isn't good. And the cat is saying that she is a liar or well a cleric. Is she a cleric? I would. Um, oh yeah look sir. She's saloon. Hmm. I didn't realize I had an audience. The true soul who's going to save us all. I'm Isabel. Pleased to meet you. She looks pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but save you, how and you. I heard you're the protector of the inn. Banish your shadows. Myself and Our Lady are doing what we can to hold the line. I hear you and your tadpole will be our offense. Free from the Absolute's influence, yet able to walk among cultists. It's almost too good to be true. But I'd be a poor cleric indeed not to avail of a blessing when I see one. 
Let me guess. Jahir has sent you to beg a protection spell of her favorite cleric. Perfect. It'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse, which will get you closer to the towers. But there are places it won't help. Places where the curse is darker, stronger. The cultists are able to traverse even the deepest shadows, though. I don't know how. The Harpers are trying to figure it out. Salunite magic. Dark Lady, forgive me. Good nose. Like a nasty little terrier. <laughs> I was thinking the two of them wouldn't get on well. Uh, can you tell me? Yeah, let's go Druid. I... No, I cannot. I simply impart the blessings the Moon Maiden provides me. While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to... Wait. Do you hear that? Something's wrong. Hello, Isabel. Marcus, is that you? What's happened to you? I've been blessed. You can be too. Come with me, and you can hear all about it from Ketherick himself. Oh my god. Yeah, Druid, yeah. Oh, look at the face on Tammy. <laughs> She's like, oh, no. They're all actually, yeah. <laughs> She's really dumb. Pathetic. The Absolute sees all, you fool. The Absolute? Of course. You can't believe them, Marcus. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised. <sighs> he already has. Time to go, Isabel. God. Oh my god. <laughs> F I wing. Oh wow. What? What? <laughs> my mind is just being blown all the time. Oh wow. This is so cool. <laughs> right, let's get him. 22. A respectable 22. Okay. Other people joining in, uh, end that. Come along, Isabel. Vampiric shows. No, you leave Isabella look No! Oh my god, we're gonna. This is gonna be. <laughs> this is gonna be a bit of a long one, I think. Look how many there is. We can't let them take Isabel. She's not knocked unconscious yet. She's doing well. Oh, she's. She's kind of her stoked. Come on. Sometimes it goes super slow like that. There we go. Right, we are going to rage. Absolutely, we are raging. Carlac with her new heart. We'd be hoping that might have helped her somewhat. See if we can get this lad killed before he takes her. Might be doing all right. Very good. We're going to use our big spells on him. Oh, that missed. Oh, that's so annoying. And that. So much for peace. Okay, we have our girl Tavi with maybe a nice little... No, because that's going to hit her. We don't want to hit her. I see, though, like they are on top of each other. Will I just put it... <sighs> Might just put it down on this guy for now and hope that she doesn't walk into it. Oh. Did I hit her too? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> let me see. Did I hit her? <laughs> No! 
Imagine if I kid Isabel. I'm sorry, I'd have to reload. That'd be terrible. <gasps> oh my god. You'll make excellent fertilizer. <laughs> she oh hey, she's messing around, is she? Who's saving on the moonbeam? I hope it's not Isabel. Isabel. Are you gonna do anything? There we go. Dash in. I'm definitely gonna have to move that moonbeam, I think. Plus 10. Who's saving on the moonbeam? I'm very confused who's saved. Counselor. Counselor succeeded. Who is. Ca Counselor Frederick was hit with rape. See what I mean? It's weird. Why does it keep doing it over and over? It shouldn't be doing it over and over. It's only when they start. Use her game points on himself. Save and show. Cancer is. Maybe it's not my moonbeam. Is it her moonbeam? I think it's kind of bugged. Saved or failed on that one. Sorry, I'm very confused. Um, I don't even. Oh, where is she then? She must be somewhere. Is she out here? No, that's too strange. Right, what I'm going to do. We've only just started the battle, so it's fine. I'm actually going to reload it because I have a feeling it's bugged because this should not be continuing to happen. Um, so look, I'm just going to reload real quick. We'll go back to the start of the fight. I, I don't know why that's keeping doing that. There we go. Quick little reload. I just don't want to waste my time basically doing a full fight and there's something bugged. Um, now, I don't know if it's maybe just going down through the floor, the moonbeam, and it's hitting her. That could be what it is. But it's not meant to trigger that damage until um, it summons the start of someone's turn. You know, so it shouldn't, that should not have been happening. Right, so we're back again. We are shifting. I was going to say, can we close it? We <laughs> close it, the door might not actually do anything, though. So. Hide. We're going to just do the same again and we're going to just try to attack him. 44 crit. Very nice. End that turn. He Come will, on, yeah, do the same thing. Try to knock her unconscious again. Oh, she's still standing though. And you know what's so funny? When we were walking in there, I didn't even think about saying it, but I was thinking to myself, oh, there's a hole in the roof. I was like, that must be, you know, like, not, what would you call it, like, good for an inn that there's an actual hole in the roof. And now, this all makes a lot more sense as to why. Alright, Carlac. We are going to bear heart you up again, my dear. Very good. And we are just going to do the same. We're going to just try to reckless attack him. And that Ketrick Tom gave him, like, the worst wings I've ever seen on anything. Like, they're terrible looking. Uh, so, I really wouldn't be believing that he can give us too much. Right, now let's see. Uh, conjure. Oh, maybe. Might be a good one. Um, blight. I think, does this do only 35 it's not worth wasting a level 4 spell that could potentially make a moving speed quarter bark skin uh, thunder wave that'll damage everyone there kind of all of my ones will actually do damage to everyone there so i think i'm just gonna knife it up receive flame blade and we're just going to try to just physically attack him 10 yeah look is it amazing no is it something sure we're in too tight of a space oh they're not out 
Okay. Come on. Is she going to say her line? Fertilizer. Yeah. <laughs> ah, okay. Guide and bold. Very good. Yeah. Healing word on herself. Fist. That's another flaming fist. I'll be assuming though they'll be going to fight their own ones. I think we might do. Will we do? We might be wasting it though doing a guide and bolt straight onto him. Um, now Shadowheart did have a lovely little, not revivify, but it was the guardian spirit. Called nearby enemies take per turn and have their movement speeds halved. So I think, yeah, let's do it onto her because it's enemies. Very good. Very nice. There we go. End that. And hopefully the rest of us should be protected. Now, Astarian is... He's kind of right in the middle of everything. I mean, he could disengage and go over there. I think we're just going to do a nice little chill touch on this lad. And it should hopefully kill him anyway. Oh, that was a miss. Oh. We can still try to do flourishing. Not enough movement. Let's try to flourish this guy then. He's right beside us. Hey, that was a good one. We'll end that. Oh, well, he's at least... Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, yes, another barbarian. Smash his face in. There we go. Come on. Oh. Hey, so that's actually a nice little one. Chris, what happened? Did someone just die? Oh. What's going on? Was that meant to happen? Maybe that was meant to happen all along anyway. Oh, we'll have to save her Isabel. too. No. What in the nine hells happened? My gurus to to see what you would do without. Oh my god! Yeah, not us. I see little more than a cowardly deception at play. Isabel is gone. Soon the shadows will wash us all away. Listen closely, for there's very little time. Even if last light falls, your mission does not change. You must find Catherick Thorm. And you must kill him. As impossible as that task sounds, there must be a way to break the spell that makes him invincible. There are secrets in this ancient waste hidden from... But hark. Something stirs. It's happening. They'll all be taken by the shadows. Only by the grace of Isabel's spell will we be spared the same fate. We cannot hesitate. Not even for those we knew. Those we cared for. They're no longer who they were. Still your hearts and steady your hands. To battle! My... What? 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 <sighs> oh my god. So. Answer me this. Like, was I able to stop her being taken or does that always happen? Because I thought we were doing so well. I was like, how? <gasps> oh my god. Look at this. This is a nightmare. Oh, wow. Okay. This is great. Let's. I think we'll go for. This one. 
We have a, a surprise turn, which is something. Will it do much? <laughs> I don't know. At least they let us keep our spells too, which is something. I uh, know I I won't because I can't actually move that if I put that down. Call lightning. I think I can, can't I? I can move that around. Okay, there we go. That's at least one down in that. It's go time. Does she still have her rage going? I'm not seeing rage, Rat. One turn. I. I'm sure it'll tell me if she's already raging. I think she's lost her rage. Yeah. So we are just going to go straight in and we will... Yeah, start picking them off one by one. Let's go. This is all we can hope to do now. <laughs> what a nightmare. Okay, there we go. Another one down. My fear though is when they start attacking us. Oh, oh, that was Jahira. Okay. Yeah, she's strong enough, isn't she? I'm glad she's on our side. Um, We may run Shadowheart over this way. They should get... Yeah. Oh, that is a great spell. Oh, my God. So, as she just runs around, she will get... She will do damage to them. That's really, really nice. And that... These are probably all dashing down to us, I would imagine. I wish they had things on them so we'd know now if they were... Yeah, they're all... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what a nightmare. Okay. Hide. Let's go through this quick. We can do this. You can hit them. Go on. Yes, very good. Good lad. And we'll end that... Now, do we still have our call? We have our call light, and where am I gonna call? I'm gonna call it down on these. Very good. And that. We will go up and we will help herself with. Uh... Oh, she doesn't have enough movement speed. Okay. That'll be true. Ice will go up and try to hit these, I think, instead. Oh, she won't won't make that. She will make this one though. Yes, very good. And again. Very good. And that. Serene she might seem, but nature has fangs. Oh, good woman. Oh, she's so badass too. Oh my god, was there more over there? <gasps> I hope the fella who helped repair. Oh, I hope it's just it's just the Harpers. Okay. I was gonna say I hope the fella that helped um Carlac isn't part of this now. Alright. So we just need to move her over. She'll get damaged as well. And while we're here, I suppose I was gonna say don't have like burning hand. Sacred flame though. Yep, yeah, very good. It's something. We'll end that turn. Oh, look at them all out here too. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. That was the one that was nice to us. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I actually don't even know what to say about this. Um, yeah, please do let me know. Could this have been avoided? <laughs> I'm, assu I'm assuming it could have been. Um, but I'd be very interested to know. Or does this just always happen? Oh my god. Like, that's exactly all we needed as well. Right, flame and hands. Let's see, that's his level 2. Flame and hands. Each target. Oh, can he hit the two of them? Oh, very good. Very good. Good lad. And maybe a flourish on this and hopefully... Oh, missed it. Never a dull moment. Now that's something all right, Tavi. Okay, can we... We might just be able to do it over here. 
I'm trying to do it so I hit day the most fight. of them and won't go, of course. Oh. Okay, okay, he's charmed. Um, uh, she must, did she lose? I think she lost her, he obviously hit her and she lost her concentration. Okay, that's fine. We're going to go back to our old Moonbeam. I think they're going to have to filter in through there anyway. Hopefully Moonbeam should do better because yet again they're kind of cursed. Slightly undead by the looks of it because of the curse. So with that, Radiant damage might do a bit more. And yeah, in that. I really hope we level up after this. <laughs> there is so many of them very good good woman shadow heart now run down here you'll get another one oh very good that is doing some damage now i foresee like the oh disadvantage i'm very surprised okay 90 percent disadvantaged we'll just maybe just try a normal yep good woman now, Shadowheart, can we move you anywhere else? No. We'll leave her there for now. Now, run through... The... Oh. Straight in, though. At least Shadowheart's one is doing some damage. Oh my god, they're all missing the moonbeam. That's so annoying. Charm. Tavi is looking a bit worse for wear. Even though I do still have my wild shape. Just run through the moonbeam for me, please. Oh, Poor Tavi. Oh, lovely. Don't, don't. Oh, T Tavi, come on, girl. Okay, we can still do this. Provokes an opportunity attack. Okay, because he'll have to move. Right, we want to get rid of this guy. Dead. One down. Okay. Uh, and... Okay, Tavi. My darling Tavi. Potion of greater healing. I did think we had, like, another... Even bigger one. Look, we'll drink this for now. It's something... I don't think I can wild shape as a bonus action. I'm gonna put it down on them. I know. Let's see. Can I? No, wild shapes are gone. That was my bonus. Look. End it. What can I do? What can I do? Carlac. Can we? Yep, yeah, she can reach them. Go, girl. Very good. Good woman. Try again. I want to stop these guys being close to Tavi to hit her. Activate. Cut. Oh, straight down on him. Very good. Come out and help us, please. Yes, good woman. Shadowheart. Shadowheart is not playing around, is she? Okay, and we can still do a spell, so... I think we're going to do it on him because he's full. 14. Very nice. We're going to end that. Oh, come on, Tavi. You're fine. Charm. Try it. Charmed. Okay. Good. Good woman. We can do this. Oh, concentration was broken. Concentration broken for Tavi as well, sadly. Right, we're back to Starion. We can... Yet again, let me see. Shit. He is dead or he's undead, so it might not actually do anything to him. That would hit Tabby as well. And but yeah, <laughs> we don't want that. Um, provokes an opportunity attack. Okay, we'll just look. We'll just try to kill this guy from here. Ten. Oh yes, very good. Right, that's another one down. Um, yeah, and that back to our lovely girl healing. 
Ocean of Greater Healing, drinking another one. 20. Love it. That is exactly what we wanted. Psychic Force. You and, and every time they miss stage fright. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, we can't really do anything else. I'm alright with that though. Yeah, in that. Carlac might actually kill this guy anyway. That may have been a waste. <laughs> but, oh yeah, Ooh, we, we don't mind if it's a waste. It's better that a spell is a waste than not. Okay, oh, what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Um, I really liked that spirit guardian. I won't put it on her right now because we kind of need to get her so that she's not... Maybe, look, maybe I can just... Can I just fireball? Okay. <laughs> For now, I think that might be... Ah, oh yeah, I was kind of trying to avoid the electrocution. Mars, okay. I'd be hopeful though that we should do this. Now Tavi is a bit worse for wear. Actually I think she's prone as well, which is not good. Giant creepers. Oh my goodness. This has been and I will not I mean it... <laughs> I'm not the better for all of this now. Can he hide? No, he can't. I mean, unless can he Oh no, stop this Can you I don't know what I did. <laughs> I'm just like, no, don't pickpocket. Go examine for now. Okay. Because it wouldn't let me kind of turn there for a second. Now let's shift. We will just about make it. Height. Now try to... 16. Okay, it's something. We'll end that. Okay. <laughs> Tabby. I know, look, I possibly will at this stage just wild shape. Just so she has some lives. I think we're just gonna owl bear it up. Go on. Good woman. You can do this. I'm getting myself comfortable here. Oh my god. Okay. End that for now, but at least she has the life. Um the additional life from the owl bear, which is what we want. Get rid of these last ones. And hopefully that'll be the end of everything. Come on. Come on, Jahira. You can do this. There's like this one over here. Yes, good woman. Good woman. Attack that. No. Electrocuted. One more fire though should. Oh my god. No. <laughs> That's so annoying. Okay, we'll end that. Oh, she got a saving throw anyway. He is still hidden. So that's good. We might just move him a bit forward because we can. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay, we'll take all of them. I didn't mean to do that. We'll put that onto him. No, stop. <laughs> oh, you're hidden. Maybe that's what it is. Just try it. Okay, very good. Down. Now, Carla, can you reach him? Oh, <laughs> I take it that's a yes. Uh, and we will try to... She's at a disadvantage, but... Ah, missed. That's fine. I don't... I don't think poor Tabby is going to make it over either. But we'll start making our way over there. End that. Come on, Jahira. Oh, she wild shaped too. Good woman. We're all wild shaping. Let's see. Shadowheart, can you hit him? Right, 50. Okay, 12. Right, there we go. Ah, poor Elbert Tabby. <laughs> I 
Owlbear Tavi is not happy about that in the slightest. And I don't blame her. Go on. Oh, miss! Uh, I don't... She's not going to make it over. But she might be able to do an arrow attack. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I had a second one. I missed it. And uh, not nah, still not enough movement. <sighs> Can I... Okay. Okay. We'll do that as well. Okay. Immune to fear. Oh, poor Carlac was... Uh, <laughs> Carlac was... She, she was nearly afraid of the enrage as well. 14. We're slowly whistling it down. Jesus, he is doing some going at Port Havy. Okay. Oh my god. F5. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Tavi, let's get you out of wild shape. <laughs> and let's talk to herself. I'm sure she'll have something to tell us anyway. Oh my god. They're just like petrified? Come on. I don't know if that counselor is still here too. I want to see what she's going to say after all that. Traitors among us. A child taken. And still I can only feel relief. If they had taken Isabel too. I Oh my god. Agreed. We must end the threat at Moonrise all together. With your help, we stand every chance of doing just that. I trust that you will. Yes! Bye! <gasps> Don't tell me he's dead as well, is he? Oh my god! No! Oh my god! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my god, guys! Okay. There's quite a lot dead. Okay. Okay. What we're going to do with this is I'm going to put this to a vote to you guys. Okay. Do I reload from where we were before and hopefully all these guys can live? Let me know if they all die anyway. Or do we continue on? I'm leaving this up to you. Because I know what I want to do. But I want to follow what the collective wants to do instead of it being what I want to do. So, comment below. <laughs> <laughs> and let me know do we reload or what do we do yeah let me know let me know what you think oh my god my mind is actually fried after that <gasps> I just can't believe they're all dead even the bard everyone they're all dead besides her okay Um, I need to go and have a lie down and a cup of tea <laughs> <laughs> maybe a cry i don't know <laughs> maybe a mix of everything uh so this is where we're gonna leave this episode yeah this is everyone's left on a bit of a cliffhanger with this one what do we do reload or not reload what you could do is comment below anyway and let me know and if you like this video maybe give it a like because i didn't like it <laughs> and if you want to see future videos by me maybe give it a subscribe as well as always, I'm going to have a playlist here of the rest of Tammy's journey to date. And other than that, I don't know what to do. Someone please hold me. I need my mom. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> and I can't believe they're all dead. Oh, I can't deal with it. Okay, I got to go now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>